Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. I shared a video yesterday about Algol, a fixed star that is being activated through a number of alignments over the coming months. Um, and I just wanted to add to that and go into a little bit more depth about some of the themes that were coming up in that video, specifically the witch wound. Now, I talked about the story of Wicked um, and Alphaba being um, turned into this evil character due to being sort of left out and ostracised and feared by others because she was different, because she had these special powers um, and because she looked different. Um, but what is uh, what I failed to notice when I was looking at the transits is that actually Venus is going to be activating Algol as well. And that's next Tuesday, two days before the moon. Now, Venus is very much um, the sign or the planet of love, but it also is a marker for the divine feminine and it also rules our talents and our gifts and you know I've been sort of looking at and working with what I call and what other um, healers call the witch wound for some time and just in a nutshell that is the wound and the trauma that many, 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 many light workers and psychics are carrying through from other lifetimes. Because, you know, in times gone by, um, as the patriarchy began to gain strength, there was a real sort of drive to suppress the powerful feminine power that had had its day for so long in, you know, eons ago. But the, um, the, the divine feminine, these females who had, you know, deep intuitive psychic gifts who were able to, you know, bring about great healing. They worked with the earth, with the land, with plants, with herbs, with crystals, with oils, and they were very um, wise, you know, seen as oracles, almost often called the wise ones. These women who had extremely um, powerful knowledge and abilities were persecuted in many cases they were suppressed they were disempowered and you know gradually over time we've had this story come to come to the fore that we've been um, encouraged to really buy into about how any woman who had magic powers was actually a witch she was to be feared she was to be banished she was to be abandoned ostracized tortured in many cases, murdered, certainly demonised. And, you know, these powers were very much distorted and the truth of the story was inverted in so many cases. And, you know, so many of the um, souls who are incarnated today have had lifetimes in which that happened to them. They experienced that directly. You know, many witches were burned at the stake. Many, many, many witches were drowned. You know, there was the old um, test for a witch if she was put under the water and she died, then it meant she wasn't a witch. But if she survived, then she was and she would be tortured, you know, and they would find other ways to finish her off. So, you know, we've got some really deep and um, very traumatic, very um, negative and challenging wounds and memories that we are carrying through. And it's my belief that so many of us are bringing those through into this lifetime, you know, buried in, in a lot of cases in our cellular memory. So within our bodies and um, not always, you know, obvious or um, something that we necessarily necessarily remember directly but it is there and that fear of being seen that fear of using your gifts that fear of speaking up is very very strong and of course there is quite um a close tie on with tie in with Chiron in Aries with this energy where Chiron you know is the wound of the self and not wanting to be seen not wanting to be heard not wanting to shine a light so it's it's just with this Algol activation, which is very much, you know, similar themes. Medusa was beautiful. She was powerful. She had many gifts. Um, but because she was deemed to um, have abused her femininity, um, you know, she was turned into this monster and she was ostracized and cast out and banished. And I sp spoke about her story at length in the video I shared yesterday. But, you know, it, it's 
it's my belief that because we have had these experiences in our past, this has caused a huge block for many of us in this lifetime because we are scared to show up and be seen. We're scared to use our gifts, to even connect with them. And in many cases, we've blocked them, we've hidden them, we've repressed them ourselves because of the fear of what might happen if we do come out and we do sort of start, you know, using our psychic gifts and sharing our knowledge. And this is, I mean... If if you are one of these um, light workers or people who have experienced um, a previous lifetime as witch where it didn't end well, you are I guarantee you're going to be resonating really strongly with what I'm saying. If you're not, you might find or think I'm crazy, you know, and that's that's absolutely your call. But it is my feeling that you know a great deal of us have really sabotaged ourselves in so many ways and not been able to step into our true power through the fear and through this wound that we're carrying. And with the Algol activations, and particularly um, this weekend with Uranus coming into a conjunction with Venus, they're going to meet at 23 degrees of Taurus on Saturday. You know, Uranus is about awakening, it's about breaking through, it's about breaking free. And Venus is very much the feminine energy, but also gifts and talents. And it just feels to me that this is a really, really potent time for the wounds that we're carrying to be healed and for those gifts that perhaps we've kept locked away or hidden through fear that um, these gifts are going to be coming very much online and awakening and being broken through so that we can actually access them finally. And we're going to feel that we have the courage and the belief in ourselves, enough belief and enough self-worth through all the energy that's coming into our planet right now to actually start being able to use them. And so this is how, you know, the feminine energies really gain strength and gain momentum and start to become much more empowered and how we are finally able to release and transmute and heal this wound um, as the feminine energy awakens and rises up and starts to take more of a sort of um, front seat and strong position, we're going to be able to heal those wounds, that witch wound, which has been, you know, quite debilitating for so many of us for so long. So let me know if you resonate with this information. It's feeling really strong to me. I mean, I have been working with a square to Algol with my son. I feel very passionately about um, the witch wound and I feel it very strongly. I know I've had previous lifetimes where I was um, murdered for, you know, having very strong intuitive gifts and abilities. And there has been a really strong sense within me of not wanting to show up and be seen and not wanting to sort of admit, you know, who I am and you know what um what I've brought it through with me to use in this lifetime because there is a huge amount of fear and wounding which is very real for so many of us but it does feel that this is a time when you know we are bringing th up all these fears from deep within to be released to be cleared to be remo removed and that creates space for the much more creativity um and much more empowerment and sovereignty to come online and, you know, start to lead the way so that we can move forward and step into who we came here to be. So, um, yeah, like I say, let me know if this resonates, you know, if this is something that you have felt that you have lived through, that you've experienced. And um, yeah, let's, you know, really look forward and be really excited about what lies ahead once all this energy is finally removed because it's part of the ascension process. It's part of sort of removing the density that has kept us trapped, that's kept us paralysed in fear and held back for so long. You know, it's really time to um, to rise and to get going and to step into who we came here to be. So thanks for watching and I'll be here again soon.